bum, 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 bum. Welcome to the stream, guys. Um, it's winter. It's winter in Canada. It's it's fucking uh, March. Is this supposed to be spring? Oh, I said I said a bad word. I think within seven seconds. I don't know. We might just demonetize the whole stream, but that's okay. Um, yeah, it's cold. It's cold here. There's snow. There's gonna be uh, half a foot of snow. That's interesting. That's fun. Uh, I have the Gala Sisters. This thumbnail. Did you guys like the thumbnail? This fucking um. They gave themselves a bullet hole, <laughs> but it's their own. Like still, like they did that. That's their filter. It's crazy. But <laughs> how you guys all doing tonight? Meg, Meg, my love, how you are? I'm. How you doing? Uh, Tyler Caps, uh, Cat Johnson, Short Stack. Um, who else we got? We got Scumicide and the fucking great. Ryan Ambrose. I hope you guys are all doing well. And Pat from Amazon. Pat from Amazon. I hope Pat, the actual Pat from Amazon is doing well. And they didn't get fired from uh from um fucking Heather's Heather shenanigans. So uh I got them. I got them up here. This is their illness fakers like arc, and they're also their spoony arc. So we're gonna find out what a spoony is today. We'll watch the one with the bullet thing uh, first. Get a little feel for it. This is uh, Illness Faker should get canceled on Reddit. Uh, they had some beef with them. If we ended up watching one of these, I don't know how. I don't. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. We'll, all, we'll skip around. I got two other ones here. Um, I don't know if we'll get through the whole draft one. They get like a draft out, a stuff draft to teach us about um, spoony stuff. So. Oh, I'm gonna Amy Lee Fisher is very important to us. Now, we joke and say she's the grandmother of this channel. She was bullied. Wait, we did. So we have seen this one because Amy Lee Fisher is not the grandmother of the channel. And then they went on about this shit. But we have not seen. Well, then that's interesting because you'd think that we would have commented on the. Uh... I'm trying to find it here. This, this is the way it came from. That's where the thumbnail came from. Did, we've never seen this before. Maybe we did. Maybe I'm having a fucking something wrong with my brain. But I know, I know that that was actually the beginning. So, but we've never seen this one. I don't think. Oh, at least not all of it. They're wearing like double fucking carpal tunnel wrist things. We are going to be doing the first ever that we know of spoony orientation. Let me make one more little thing. We are Spoonies, so this is okay to do. Yes. If you are a standard normie, shut up. We don't want to hear it. This is how we approach our chronic illness and how we handle it. We like handling with a little humor, a little tongue in cheek. We, if you take it so seriously and you're negative all the time about it, you're going to have a horrible life. And well, yeah. Uh I guess we need to know what a spoonie is, right? But yeah, this is an educational program. <laughs> it is. It is. We're going to learn. We're going to learn a lot tonight, yeah. That's our personal opinion. And Oh, my God. That that, is, that was a crazy fucking um, sound edit. Sorry for your ears, guys. Hey, buddy. It's Rachel. And Rhea. And we're the Gala Sisters. We're actually Irish twins, which means we're 15 months apart or less. So today they're really hanging off each other in this one. I think um, maybe this is like the honeymoon phase. They're in bed. They're like literally in bed. They just chill in bed. They got one of these chair things here. Um, well, what do we got over here? What is that? What is this? I don't know. Just stuff. Today we have a special video planned for you. I will say right off the bat, if you do not have a sense of humor, don't watch this video. We are going to be doing the first ever that we know of spoony orientation. Let me make one more little thing. So like an orient, like a, you're going to teach us what a spoony is. Apparently, Matty Yar is tight with the spoony people or the spoony people affiliate with him. Um, they're going to explain it to us. So there's no point in me trying to explain it. Uh, I guess we'll learn it together. But it has something to do with like running out of spoons during the day. And then uh, life just stops for you. And you got to get your spoons back or something. If that doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. 
we are spoonies so this is okay to do yes. if you are a standard normie shut up we don't want to hear it this is how we approach our chronic illness and how we handle it we like handling with a little humor a little tongue-in-cheek we if you take it so seriously and you're negative all the time about it, you're going to have a horrible life. And that's our personal opinion. And we are... If you French fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're going to have a bad time. Entitled to our opinion. So if you don't like it, go watch a different video. We have plenty of other videos. We have Boxy Charm unboxings, which is our view on the Minneapolis riots. Sister tag. So a chronic illness is an illness that lasts for two weeks or longer. What? Is that a chronic illness? I've had illnesses that last for two weeks or longer. I wouldn't say I have a chronic illness. Two weeks is like nothing. You could have a flu the last two weeks. That, hold up. We're going to have to fact check him here. And it just hey, Siri, never goes away. And it's something you're going to be dealing with your entire life. Why something like cystic fibrosis or Ehlers-Danos or lupus or endometriosis. Literally, the first thing that pops up is chronic illnesses are defined broadly as conditions that last one year or more and that require ongoing medical assistance. They <laughs> two weeks or longer, two weeks. It's been two weeks. Like what? No, two. That yeah, I thought that sounded wrong. My video with end. I'm not a doctor, so I had to check. Oh, so, yeah. sorry, we up here somewhere. Or fibromyalgia, arthritis. Chronic fatigue is another one that's come to our yeah. attention, but that's a thing now. And those often... It's come to our attention, so are you guys going to just say you have that too now? You have that too? Like, I have PTSD and fibromyalgia. I know, right? That's what they said. Hello, Michelle. Uh, fairly new here. I'm loving it. I'm glad, I'm glad you're loving it. And ...are accompanied by depression, anxiety, PTSD... Uh, a whole host of problems and it's it is pretty awful which is why you know we need each other we have to lean on each other and that's why we and we're double double fucking um carpal tunnel bands what are the odds that all four of these wrists have carpal tunnel i, I don't think it's i think it's pretty low we're making this video to show everybody you're not alone and we are here and we're in this together and there's a lot of us, um, more of us than you would ever realize. Why you may you... have a Spoonie an next door neighbor. They said something about pajamas. They said something about pajamas. What is that? To show everybody you're not alone and we are here and we're in this together. And there's... We're wearing... What? We're wearing our pajamas to show that we don't always have spoon... We don't always have the spoons to get dressed. What the fuck does that mean? We don't always have the spoons to get dressed. You need you. It's it's like tokens, right? You got to spend your spoons to do like any little thing. There's a lot of us, um, more, more of us than you would ever realize. You may have a spoonie an next door neighbor, and you might not know. Yeah, I'm just like what a spoonie is. A spoonie. A spoonie. <laughs> so. A spoonie is someone who is chronically sick and you are given a certain amount of spoons. Who? By who? They? Heather's they? You're given a, a certain amount of spoons by they. In one day that you can use based on your energy levels. And once your spoons are gone, they're gone. You can replenish them, but where somebody else could a regular type person could continue to push themselves and keep going and going we only got so many spoons like let's say I wake up in the morning and i don't didn't that kind of contradict your statement like they're gone but you can replenish them how do you replenish them they're not really gone then is it and i go and i make myself something to eat make my daughter something to eat go drive and i pick you up i have two spoons left oh we need to go to the grocery store okay Go to the grocery store. I have one spoon left. Come home. Scoop the litter box. I don't have any spoons left. Okay. Then what do you do? Does life, they just stop. Just life stops. But you mean you can get them back. You can rest, take a nap, drink some coffee, or even just drink some water. Sometimes that sure. actually helps. Eat something. 
sometimes that helps not always but it can but your energy levels are just not going to be the same and feeling this way is totally normal i know that when i first was diagnosed with endometriosis up here on the card somewhere if you haven't seen the story it scared me i wish that someone had given me a roadmap she said someone like it was someone like very direct who who did you want to give you a roadmap your ex-husband the evil ex-husband no we are making this video because it has come to our attention that people who are getting the novel coronavirus um are having problems um do you guys watch Cuomo primetime uh chris cuomo. is that chris cuomo that looks like chris cuomo <laughs> Yeah, that's fucking Chris Cuomo. Cuomo had has been talking oh all God, we'll last couple days actually yeah. about the lasting effects that um it has left. It is left him, you know, exhausted, tired, you know, depression, anxiety, probably some PTSD. And we realized Yeah, Dylan has like way more spoons than them, so he can uh you know scoop the litter box, clean the house. But one of his favorite hobbies, remember? Through some research that a lot of people are going to be joining us on our spoon journey just so you guys know most spoonies at least know of each other we are a community of individuals we'll link to some of our favorites i love that description for you we're a community of individuals hell yeah down below who are there for you and if you need something most of us are willing to help you maybe all of us well, you don't have the spoons to even help yourself. How are you supposed to help other people? Can we just give them more spoons? I don't know. Um, there are people who, you know, will try to hurt you, and they don't need to do that. That's silly. It's, it, who? Why? Who's hurting chronically ill people that are fucking chronically ill for two weeks? We understand it can be very difficult to get that diagnosis and to get used to your new way of life. It sucks but it's also possibly possible to enjoy it you can have fun with it oh we should explain why we're wearing these yeah why are you wearing those double fist and fucking uh carpal tunnel things okay so unfortunately we got the carpal tunnel slash arthritis jeans the okay you got the carpal tunnel jeans why are you smelling like that do i did this when did this come about? It looks like the, oh, what the fuck? That face, that weird fucking, the Moo Moo face. Can we get that pulled up? Hold up. Let's see. What was that thing called? Megan, we were trying to figure out the name of it. I think it's just called Moo Moo. Let me check. Um, the Moo Moo horror thing. momo the momo challenge that's what it was okay this is what she looks like when, when it wants to load yeah see this is what she looks like hold up can i get them both up at the same time i don't think i can um but i'll switch him i'll switch him fast so look at this get this burned into your brain and then look at this well right right it's like pretty much the same thing i think da 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 huh keeps moving it around but you, you yeah now you know whoops from our in our family and we do go to the chiropractor. Our chiropractor is an amazing person. Thank you, Dr. Simon. Um, so- Oh, Dr. Sin Simon diagnosed him with the carpal tunnel? Basically, um, we have to sleep with these on because if we wake up, our hands just go numb. and be completely numb. So when you have carpal tunnel, your first three of your fingers are gonna be numb. There's a median nerve right here and there's pressure on it and it, there's so much pressure on it that it makes your hand go numb. If these two fingers are numb, it's something else. Feel this tunnel. Yeah. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I guess I don't have carpal tunnel. I don't know how that happened. Yes. Sorry, I need a drink. I'm not going to make you such a drink. That's okay. Not happy. See YouTubers and news hosts drink water all the time. 
So without further ado, we present you with the Gala Sisters. Wait, was that the fucking intro? Hold on. That is probably the longest intro. We already did this. We because it bursted my ears open. Hold on, what is happening? Very first spoony orientation. Orientation. Boy, we already did this ear blasting nonsense. Crazy guys. Whoa. Okay. See, all right. We're missing very important context here. Okay. I just don't want our ears blasted. Yeah. Guys, with me. See who it is. Just me. Six. So do I. Would you like to go get the door? I'm gonna take you guys with me. See who it is. Just my sexy door. And look. There he is. What's well, all like? Did you see that crap? Let's <laughs> bring him in. This is all this. They didn't have enough spoons to clean up the hallway before filming the video, guys. So am I. I'm gonna carry him. I'm gonna carry our guest. Set him right here on this chair. Our guest um, has just discovered that he has a chronic illness. We don't know which one. He won't tell us. Well, we can't be rude. Let's offer our guest something to drink. Would you like something to drink? Maybe some coffee, a highball, soda water, some regular water. If you I don't even know what's happening. What is, what is going on right now? What what is this? What the hell are they doing? I don't even know. Why don't we? Why don't they have the draft in the shot? Is it the draft supposed to be? Why is it off camera? Why did we even need to see it? Very strange. Can drink it. We cannot drink regular water. No, our stomachs. Can't drink regular water, guys. Like water, the main ingredient and in everything. They can't have that. We will throw up, and I'm not cleaning up your faucet. Sorry, we don't. Oh, wait, we don't know your name yet. Oh, it's Finn. Hi, Finn. Nice to meet you. So we actually, we don't have any alcohol to offer you because we just, we can't really drink much alcohol. It, our bodies can't heal. It's not that we don't like alcohol. It's not that we never drink alcohol. We just can't drink very much of it. There's no point in keeping it around. No, because if you can't drink something, what's the point? Okay. I don't even know what the point of this video is at this point. I, you're, we're going to explain Spoonies. We got a draft in here, and now you're just, like, kind of talking. I Is it supposed to be, like, it's a natural dialogue, but they wrote a script, and it's just weird? I don't know. So, in addition to not being able to drink alcohol, what other diagnoses do we have that disable us from drinking and eating certain things? Mild gastroparesis. Oh, yeah. She had gas um, and she couldn't pick up Emma from the bus. So then the bus driver was accused of being a pedophile because that's just because they're on YouTube and that's what YouTubers do to people when they don't like him, I guess. Um, and uh, then they got banned from the bus and they were upset about that because then they're like, oh, you're not going to let you're not going to let the pedophile drive my kids to school, my autistic teen daughter. I mean, it's good that Emma's not in this video, I guess. Um, I miss Dylan, though. Dylan, where? I should have checked. I'll see if they've been up to anything. Uh, very few vegetables, unless you throw up. Yeah. So it's sometimes I can eat vegetables. Uh, I don't have a terrible problem with some leafy greens, like spinach, I do, but mixed greens seem to be okay. Can't eat carrots. Oh, God, no, not unless they're cooked. Yeah. Raw vegetables, raw peppers. No. Okay. Yeah. Um, and Rhea gets uncomfortable about the raw peppers. What the raw peppers do to Rhea? I'm, is there some kind of backstory to that? A raw pepper backstory? It, it, it's some days I just can barely eat anything at all. So IBS also comes along with that. And it's, so they are serious, but like, 
I don't. They they said that this was supposed to be a joke, but I think just the joke part is the giraffe. Like they're like, oh yeah, there's a giraffe with us, but everything else, they're like, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty serious. They're nefarious. They're serious. They're uh, I don't know. They they've done some other really weird shit. We're kind of just feeling them out because they did a whole bunch of content on their channel before I knew of them. Um, and this is their spoony shit. It's interesting that like. You think with all their ailments and t carpal tunnel that we never saw these things again and we never really hear about their other illnesses. Except like endometriosis. They always bring that up. They do always bring that up. Um, but everything, uh, what, what are the other illnesses, ailments here? For those of you who don't know, gastroparesis makes it so that some people can't eat anything, any solids at all and have... That actually makes a lot of sense to come aside. They're fucking... Exes probably did like raw peppers, and they're like, get triggered now. To be on feed or TPN and stuff like that. That can have feeding tubes, whether they be temporary or permanent. And some of them have the Hickman Broviac lines that go directly to your heart. Digestive enzymes are often prescribed to people who have gastroparesis. I tried digestive enzymes, and I am allergic to them. So that brings us to mast cell. Mass cell syndrome. Okay, cool. I mean, like, are we learning stuff? Maybe, maybe we're kind of learning. I don't know. I'm really tired tonight, guys, by the way. But I was like, I didn't stream yesterday. I was on some other stream for four hours. So I, I didn't stream yesterday for you guys. I'm sorry. And then the day before that, I was supposed to be like my one kind of uh, day off in the week. So um, I was going to do something else. Because I said I was going to do something else for you guys. But I had to just kind of fall back to Gala Sisters. I can go on autopilot with these guys. But I'm even like a little confused. And I'm just like, okay, well, I guess we're learning about mast cell activation syndrome. Who has mast cell activation syndrome? She's, are they just going to go through every single chronic illness known to man and uh, give us their thoughts and feelings on it? Or why are we bringing this up? Mast cell is basically where you could be like one day you might be allergic to something the next day you're not or vice versa mast cell is very um interesting and it's really difficult and it makes sure it makes a fun challenge like one day i just woke up and surprise you're allergic to strawberries Woo! it can go away it why is Rachel dancing for allergies? That's literally what that's what they said. They <laughs> why is Rachel dancing? I don't know. Um strawberries is a weird thing to be allergic to, too. That's uh I would hate to be allergic to strawberries. It could, but I don't know how I would know because I don't eat them or keep them anywhere near the house. Yeah. Are you listening, Finn? Is this absolutely fascinating? Perhaps you have mast cell too, and you should talk to your doctor about it. Yeah, I like talking to inanimate objects that can't add anything to the conversation. Why didn't they get someone to like play the draft or edit in an after? Like, if you're going to edit in little things, like why is Rhea dancing to um, allergies? Um, Finn is very interested. He's uh... <laughs> um the other thing too is we are surprise surprise celiacs yay woo so celiacs are people who also known as sprue i've never heard of that i've never heard of sprue and i have celiac disease so like i don't know these guys eat takis I can't eat Takis, so I think they're fakers. I think they're fakers just for that fucking reason, but probably other things. I don't monitor them as closely as uh, maybe I should. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> they're just weird. They're weird people. Who cannot digest gluten because the cilia in their intestinal system is it's supposed to be like this, and ours is like... <laughs> cilia don't what don't actually fire i don't know what the fuck that means i don't know what they're talking about bro yeah. so if if you are oh, because they've made a farting noise I've, i'm just gonna stop reading their fucking things if you're celiac and you eat gluten it will not kill you right away but if you do not address it it will shorten your lifespan 
and you will have a pretty miserable life too because you're gonna be really <laughs> sick and if you don't know what the symptoms are i'll let you go google them because i don't really want to talk about them they're gross <laughs> no we don't need to share them <laughs> thank you though for the you know beautiful picture so say i really appreciate it so we also don't eat dairy either they don't need anything they they have the such weirdest strictest fucking diet what can they eat they can eat vegan cheese and uh we've seen them eat nachos we've seen them eat ice cream we've seen them eat burgers with no buns i guess that's that's pretty much it they eat they make the crock pot floor shit a lot of stuff in the crock. They made nachos actually in the crock pot on the floor, which <laughs> I don't think that's not how you make nachos. I don't think I need to tell you guys that. Um, but just in case you didn't know, that's not how you make nachos. No, we can't digest it. We eat dairy. We'll be in the bathroom again for days. We might actually fight over who gets the bathroom. It probably stink really bad in here. On top of that, we would end up having to. We would probably end up sleeping for a couple of days. Yeah. Where are you guys looking? It's called myalgic encephal encephal. Oh, probably all the like long words you can't memorize. So it's called encephalomyelitis. I, I you know what? We'll encephalitis. Like... Yeah. We myalgic can't. encephal encephalum. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it on. The... On the thing, okay? I need, where's Sanjay Gupta? I need him to pronounce this for me. He's, uh, he's one of, he's one of, one of the doctors that CNN works with. I love him. (laughs) I freaking love him. Me too. Since I was a teenager. Isn't it? I don't know. Do you guys love anybody that are like news anchors? Does anyone even, I don't watch the news. I get my news just from like word of mouth and, uh, Twitter um but like i think it's so weird to think like a news anchor is like the coolest thing ever it's a fucking news anchor bro they don't even know what's going on they're reading a teleprompter like <laughs> what what are you so impressed with? i guess this is a doctor right um so maybe but it's, they're always like oh it's fucking chris cuomo um and then like various other news people that i've never heard of yeah uh, that. That also brings us to mm, brain fog. Yeah. So a lot of people with the coronavirus are saying that they have brain fog. But what's it like not to have brain fog? Hmm? What? What? What do you say? (laughs) What's it like not to have brain fog? Huh? (laughs) That's pretty much a good chunk of our conversations. Basically, when we forget basic words like carrot or potato or pajamas, (laughs) that's an example of brain fog. It takes a certain amount of energy to remember words and to formulate sentences, and that something that people who are chronically sick have a hard time with. Our brains just don't work at full capacity because we're so busy dealing with our bodies. But that's okay. If you have brain fog, please do not feel like you are alone. Learn to laugh at yourself a little bit. Don't be so scared. Seriously, calm down. <laughs> what? I don't know, this is weird. Calm guys, if you have brain fog, just calm down. Um I think like I, I get brain fog. I smoke a lot of weed, right? So I mean my brain can be foggy at times for sure. I've never been scared though, and I've never been like, oh my god. Um I might just like be like, I don't know the word. I might remember the word contribution and call it uh Contra, what the hell did I say the one time? I don't know. Contramentation. It doesn't matter because it's a made up word, anyways. But you know, brain fog. You're acting insane. Yep. Anybody having anything. It's also called fibro brain as well. Yes. That was actually its original term. I believe that. It was. So a lot of people don't believe, hey, Finn. So a lot of people don't believe in fibromyalgia. They don't think that it's a real thing. They're because you can't see it. That's the thing with a lot of chronic illnesses. You can't see them. Like, could you, would you know that I had hip arthritis? Me too. If I didn't tell you, would you know? Would you know that I have a sore neck? Would you know that my stomach doesn't digest most of the food I put into it? You should probably just put food you can digest into it. 
Um, you would make a bad goat. I heard that goats can like eat anything. Like, you just put a goat in like a, a dump and it just start eating like the garbage. Oh, you eat, like a can. Eat fucking aluminum. Goats are crazy. And goats can also climb like ladders and stuff. Uh, and climb trees, which is kind of weird. I never, you never think a goat would be like climbing trees, but I, I've seen it. It's pretty fancy. It has trouble with it. Would you know that? You know, at some point we'll play a game. Would you know that I was legally blind if I didn't tell you? See, you're not legally blind. These are blue blockers. Because you fucked up one day and you're like, these are blue blockers. And then I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like, that's not blind. That's not blindness. There's nothing wrong with your eyes. Remember when like, she was like, our husbands wouldn't let us wear glasses because you don't need glasses. I mean, I doubt they were like, you're not allowed to wear glasses. Maybe they just like made fun of them a bit. You know, it's like, why are you wearing glasses if you don't need them? You know, a lot of us hide in plain sight. Yeah. So many of us look sin normal. And but endometriosis too just wreaks havoc on your body. Oh my god. Destroys it. And Jim the giraffe is way better than yeah, Finn the giraffe. I don't know what they were thinking. So many things. Eventually we'll make a video about what not to say to somebody who is sick. Yes. And Jessica Coat and Lazard might have one in the video link it's on yeah. below. Um, you guys gotta understand that there's nothing to be ashamed of. We're going to get a bunch of spoonies very early. You're going to get a bunch of this. And it's just like your next door neighbor who recovered from coronavirus might never be able to breathe without assistance again. And we both can work out and we love working out. We can't always work out, but what is we kind of what kind of segue is that? <laughs> you know, your neighbor might not be able to ever fucking breathe again. We love working out, but we can't always work out. They just like there's no nothing really flows nicely yeah. together. I've been fucking pressing buttons on I suppose. It's nice to work out because you start working on your body, you start looking cute, you start getting some muscles. For some dudes, they start looking like wrestlers, etc. We are big yeah. WWE fans. But the primary reason that I personally work out is because it A, helps with my endometriosis immensely. I don't grow as many cysts, which is a byproduct of endo. You're grossed out by that. I'm sorry. It's just reality. Welcome to the real world. And <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Yeah. Welcome to the fucking real world. These two are just like normal fucking beings in the real world. Um cysts huh where are these cysts happening and it helps with my chronic fatigue i have more energy in general if i do it and my body hurts less and it also helps with my brain thinking see fibromyalgia and brain fog i don't what's brain thinking <laughs> <laughs> my brain thinking guys you're gonna understand that there's nothing to be ashamed of, and we really need to open this booty door more for people. Has our special guest been understanding any of what we're saying? What? Wait, hold on. Uh, I gotta jack the volume up now. Was that the dog barking? And where they said that was Finn. Finn is a stuffed animal. He can't make any noise. Do they edit stuff in? Like I said, just there's nothing to be ashamed of, and we really need to open this booty door more for people. Yeah, it's a dog barking. People, has our special guest been understanding any of what we're saying? Sometimes I could run four, five, six miles. Yeah, got it. Sometimes cysts in the uterus, unless we're just saying uterus, uterus. Sometimes I can barely make it a mile, and Sometimes I'm like, I can't even get up. And you know what? I used to spend one day a week in bed every single day, every single week. Not every day. Every <laughs> one one day a day. That's amazing. How many days are in your day? <laughs> <laughs> you know. I mean, is that what Sunday's for? Sunday is a day of rest. You can spend it all in bed, I guess. But like, fucking, what a waste. It's normal to feel this way. Could our special guest say something to us? Then. 
does Finn have anything to say about that? Finn, do you have brain fog? Oh, he has such horrible brain fog. He has a speech language disorder. He can't say anything. And I can make fun of that. My daughter has autism and a speech language disorder. I don't think that means you can make fun of someone for having that. Or it, that gives you a pass on making jokes. I, I mean, I'm not saying you can't make a joke. What it's just this is weird. This is weird. This is like a, I have a black friend, so I can say the N word or make racial jokes. It, it wasn't even that edgy of a joke. Calm now. So I'm just making light of something, and she is amazing and finds wonderful ways to communicate. I don't mean anything negative by that. No. No, she did not get the service done. Oh, Tina, that's that's wholesome that you thought they'd actually get a service done. Nah, nah, they just took the money and ran. The two thousand dollars. It just nobody should ever feel ashamed to feel this way. Never. And I am so sorry that this global pandemic causes you to get sick and then it doesn't end. I mean, Sanjay Gupta explains that it just keeps going. And even Chris Cuomo in his own words said this is never ending. So that's got that that's facts, you know. Chris Cuomo said it, so it must be the truth. He's uh Nostradamus over here. And but it's there's nothing to feel bad about. I get it. It's it's gotta be kind of shocking to go most of your life as a but regular a normal normie. Normal is just a setting on the dryer type of person and then Max Power is just a setting on the hair dryer. And it's Homer Simpson's fancy name. Suddenly hit, you know, we'll say 35 to 6, 35 to 50. I'm mm-hmm. going to say 35 to 50 and just be like, Phew. but Finn, I'm going to look you right in the eyes when I tell you this, Finn. I have this theory. You're looking at us. You said you'd look him in the eye. You can't even fucking, you can't even keep your word to Finn, an inanimate object. That's terrible. That I talk about constantly, and I've written a Medium article on it. Is that? Wait, what? She wrote a. She wrote a medium article. I mean, maybe we gotta find this. Find this medium article. We, if you live long enough, if you are given the gift of old age, and you live long enough, every single one of us ends up with some sort of chronic illness. We all enter the grave with a chronic illness, unless you tragically die young, which we don't want to do. I don't want to hear you saying that you want to do that. So many, Anybody. So many of our friends are not going to make it to 50, 60, 70, 90. Yeah. Are we going to make it? Yes. But we take care of ourselves. We take it very seriously. And we don't have to, you know, like. The thumbnail that they made for this video is somehow like weirder and funnier than the thumb- <laughs> the other thumbnail. She's got her like arms all flailing in the air and shit. It's uh, it's something. I'm trying to find this medium article for us though. TPN, we're not on TPN, and anybody that is, I am so sorry. That can kill you. It can scar your liver, and it can kill you. And I don't see any fucking. If you've gotten this diagnosis and you realize that you're going to spend the rest of your days chronically sick with horrible whatever, whatever symptoms. Please don't go do reckless things. Don't start driving around 100 miles per hour while intoxicated. No, don't, don't drive a boat with your feet. <laughs> don't do it. Who is like who's recommending anybody do that? What? Okay. Anything incredibly stupid. You know, don't don't throw down, don't throw yourself down a flight of steps. No. People and people have done that. You know, don't jump off a roof. You know, don't end your life. Don't just go out and start eating whatever you want. Don't stop working out. You may not be able to work out as much as you were before. But guess what? As you get older, when you're you're 80, you're not going to be able to work out like when you were 30. That's just going to happen to you no matter who you are. No matter if you're, you know. (laughs) Sick or not. I mean, I know that this is scary, but it's nothing to be afraid of. I think they're just talking to themselves. What are you? What are you afraid of? I don't even think you guys have chronic illnesses. 
at least not a majority of them that you claim to have. Maybe maybe you have one and then you just wanted to like have more because one got you some attention. You were like, if I get even more, I'll get more attention. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't, you don't deal with them very well. You guys ran away. You guys ran out of the hospital. You had to death out the door because of the chin incident. You guys remember the chin incident? Nothing. You're scared because you don't understand. You're not scared. And you make it, you guys are all making it seem like this is something new. Oh, no, we're sick. Rachel turned into our dad. You guys don't have the same dad. <laughs> but like he Rhea's dad. <laughs> goes, oh, we're sick. That's all that. What the fuck? Are, what is this? I am, there's not a lot of good parts to this one, but like some of them are interesting the fuck I don't understand you're not scared and you make it you guys are all making it seem like this is something new oh no <laughs> With their fucking hair oh we're sick it's nothing new so many of us like i posted the other day on twitter i go to bed sick i get up sick i wake up sick I leave the cat sick i clean my glasses sick I hang out with my friends sick. I go to the grocery store sick. I, I And I don't really, I don't think about that. It just becomes such a, it's like, you know, how many of us think about, you know, okay, well, I put, I, you know, I put, I'm walking, I put my one foot in front of another, in front of another. I mean, how many of us think about that? Do you think about that? No. no. Or, you know, when you're, you know, eating. You think about okay, well, I forgot the word eating brain fog. I'm gonna take a bite of my food, and I can take another bite of my food, and another bite of my food. Do you think about every single no, bite you, you don't take? When I'm driving, I don't think push the gas pedal and go, I just do it. You see, it's one of those things where you get sick to a point where you've been sick for so long, you don't even think about it anymore. And I so then, so then you're good, then, right. You don't even remember you're sick? You can just do all the things, the stuff and the things? I have this joke that I always joke with my sister because she's the one that I primarily talk to, especially in quarantine. <laughs> I'm sorry I did not make you laugh while you're drinking. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a that's an assumption to think that she was going to actually be laughing at anything, any of this. Rachel went from a Minnesotan to a New Yorker. Love you, New York. <laughs> Anyways, that when, let's say, okay, so I had plantar fasciitis in my right foot for like three years, and I had finally gotten to be able to run four miles. I was so excited, and then bam, I got plantar fasciitis. I couldn't run very much. So I rehabbed it for a few years. <laughs> for a few years, uh... Because... I, I could have gotten more help from the doctor, but I didn't want it. I, I wanted to handle it myself. So finally that healed itself. And, and then my knee starts hurting really badly. Then my knee doesn't hurt as bad. And then my other knee hurts. And then that one doesn't hurt very bad. And then I get arthritis in my hip. And it's like, every time something feels better, something else gets hurt even worse. <laughs> and just imagine me. You know, and and I go with. I mean, she's got the the fucking braces on, you know. That's so she can combat with her fucking broken wrist. Limited sight. Yeah, but I wasn't always like that. And again, no. we'll do a video on my limited sight at some point. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> to something. <laughs> what? Her face went like that right at the end for I don't know what reason. Um, I forget what she said now. It would be different maybe if she was like, I got splashed in the eyes with acid and now I can't see. But before I could see, I just wear blue blockers. Uh, I don't know, but she, we don't even get a good origin story or anything. We just get like real lying about her eyesight for no real reason. I don't even know why you would lie about your eyesight. It's such a weird thing to lie about. Like, I have bad eyes. I'm not going to just be like pretending to have bad eyes for, for I don't even know. I don't get the, I don't get the reason at all and also a year ago i was dealing with an extremely swollen chin hell yeah the chin but i don't like have this like on tap or whatever but like this is all this is a great picture 
But um, yeah, they ran away. They ran out of the hospital because um, they weren't fixing the chin how they wanted them to. And um, there was male doctors that I want. They don't like male doctors. That they were unable to diagnose. And we will do a whole video on that. Don't get scared about your life changing. The only thing constant in life is change. If you can't handle a little change, what are you going to do someday if you wind up with your partner divorced, dead? And that's what? Finn, I really want to talk to you too. Here, I'll let you look at Rio when we talk about this. Um, look her in the eyes. So sadly, so, so, so sadly, a lot of partners, spouses, friends, whatever cannot handle the new diagnosis of their significant other of they why what why what's what's gonna happen they can't handle the never-ending symptoms of chronic illness and a lot of relationships a lot of marriages like our own all right they're gonna say they don't work out just like in uh if you guys watch love is autistic or something like that. I can't remember what it is. Autistic people dating each other. And then this one was like, I was dating a blind guy, but, um, you know, uh, he said I was too autistic for him. And I was like, that's kind of crazy. Or she's too disabled because she was autistic. But he's blind. Like, he's fucking blind, right? Um, these guys, they had, like, good husbands. And I'm basing... And off of their own story, <laughs> like they said they would do anything I asked them to. They um they would also leave me alone because I was asexual. It doesn't sound like they did they, they went catatonic and they tried to get away from him sometimes. Like they tried to like fucking just breathe and they're like, No, I gotta go send the cops after him and uh have him put in a fucking mental hospital. So I could never forget why we got onto this topic, but something I, it's all connected somehow, I think fall apart when one person becomes extremely sick and we know so many people that this has happened to and if this has happened to you i am so 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 sorry come um, to us we're asexual video right here we will we're here to be your friend and help you through this we don't want anything more than that if you need a roadmap we have already figured this out and we've been through it and it, it's it's one of the worst heartbreaking when someone says, I don't love you anymore because you're sick and their vows in sickness and in health actually meant nothing. Yeah, Love on the Spectrum. It was, yeah, it was a cute show. I like that show. I know it's hard. I know, I know that these things are happening. And I really feel for you guys. Trust me. I went through so much of this in 2009. We've already linked my video, so we yeah. don't need to do it again. I've gone through more. I've gone through hell and back again. Yeah. But you know what? If this is hell. Imagine how much better things are going to be. Yep. Will be. Best is always yet to come. I mean, I thought as you were going to say something really cool. Like, if this is hell, then I don't want to know what heaven looks like. I don't know, something crazy, but it, like it just, you know, fizzled because they suck and they can't come up with anything impactful in life. That's probably why, like, the only impactful shit they've ever done is like very, very, very um, bad takes on uh, having an autistic daughter and putting their uh, likeness online. Always. Yeah. I know that this seems like a dark time. But like my mother always used to when I was growing up, us, I guess, when we were growing up. Tis better to light a single candle than curse the darkness. Do not be afraid. What does this say? We are not here to curse the darkness, but to light the candle that can guide us. John F. Kennedy. Why are we putting John F. Kennedy's quotes in here? Do not let these fears rule you. Do not take your own life because you can't handle something and your image of yourself is going to completely change before maybe you were this amazingly um brawny athletic person that, that
could go and go and go and you're not like that anymore but the life gave you some spoons and was like all right amazing football player um yeah hit that too many times and now you only got 12 spoons a day something like that your body is still fantastic and amazing and should be celebrated if you can just run one mile or you got up and emptied the dishwasher Thank you, body, for fighting so hard for me. I'm still breathing, and I'm still here, and you have serviced me, and I'm happy to be in you. Or, I thought it was really strange. <laughs> Brain fog is a real thing. I'm happy to be in my body. <laughs> Just remember the things. You don't focus on what you can't do. Focus on what you can do. And not, you're, you're going to say, don't be scared? Because we already said that three times. Don't. Dwell on the past. Look towards the future. Dream. Imagine. And for those of you who are saying, <laughs> imagine there's no people. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Saying, just stay home. Or if 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 you want me to wear a mask for you, I'm not gonna do it. How dare you? Part of what makes people human and different than animals is that we have compassion and we don't throw away our sick people or we don't toss our young out of the nest that can't fly. I've, I've seen animals with compassion. I've seen a, like a snake protect a puppy from drowning or like a, a golden retriever nurse um, uh, lions or something or vice versa. I can't remember. I think animals have compassion for each other. I just, some animals are like, I don't know, having a hard homeless life because all animals are homeless technically, right? Um, and they got to go kill each other for uh, territorial dominance and food and shit. You know, it's the animal world. What are we? Well, I forget. Wow, man. My short term memory is really bad tonight. That's what gives us humanity. Oh, she's describing what makes these these two different from animals. <laughs> also, we're going to call out this group again. Suffer for that illness, Bakers. Shut up. Finn says, shut up. And we're not going to be... We're gonna be Why? Why is Finn so angry at us? Call them out in every freaking video like this we do. Yeah, so there is a subreddit on Reddit. Reddit. <laughs> Oh my god, my brain. And they think that is their duty. Brain fog. Fuck the world. What is FTW? It's FTW stands for fuck the world, right? And they're calling to call people who they think they believe without definitive proof, without looking at doctor records. That without looking at doctor records? Wouldn't we have to dox you to look at your doctor records? Can you just offer them up, I guess, redacted? Would that be a reasonable ask if... um if this is your position on it, I think like it would be wise to be skeptical of someone who has so many chronic illnesses because I just it's probably very unlikely. And if you're running GoFundMe's and shit, to get dogs and you know whatever else your heart desires, then uh, I think there might be a little bit of a problem there. Maybe a little bit of conflict of interest of like um, you know taking advantage of people's good nature that people who claim they are sick are not actually sick and that's the thing like i can still go and run a mile and spend the next day in bed unable to move like chronic illness is so weird because it waxes and wanes and it's also if someone is there's something called an ambulatory wheelchair user. yes there are so many there's a what? A something wheelchair? Any of them? Jessica Kellerman Pozard. Amy, Amy Lee Fisher. Fisher. Mary Fry. These are just YouTubers that we know of. So if you see someone going through the mall in a wheelchair, even Molly Burke does it, and they stand up, it doesn't mean they're a fake and a fraud, and it is not your duty to sit there and attack them and say, so you are looking for attention, are you, using a wheelchair when you don't actually need it? Do you guys roll around in wheelchairs sometimes? I don't know what the... What, I, I think it'd be weird to see someone, like, walking around after chilling on a wheelchair. Sometimes people have... Like a wheelchair, right? Not like a, a rascal or a, 
a motorized, you know, one of those things. So it's, I call it a rascal, but then everyone's like, it's not a little rascal, Steve. So it's like a motorized scooter thingy. Such horrible exhaustion that they need. Or those girls, it. those potsy girls. Yes. If they walk too much, their so, heart has to work too fast. Why don't you explain to Finn what POTS is? So POTS is postio arth or re, or trachycardia syndrome. I believe that was good. What it says, postio, and so basically what it is is it's trachea. It was supposed to be trachea. When you're laying down, your blood pressure and heart rate are one way. Yeah. When you're sitting down, your blood pressure and heart are not, are one way. And when you're standing up, your blood pressure and heart are one way. Now, here's the thing. Those people are unable to say. <laughs> Did you just see? Wait, is it a thing? I might be too tired. I shouldn't be streaming tonight. Um, Heather and Xavier, they were like, I don't know what they were doing right before the pregnancy, but Xavier was like running at full fucking speed with Heather in the wheelchair. <laughs> But not towards the hospital, towards like Mariano's. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. The, the wheelchair. I think they just wanted you to get to like the hospital really quick, right? If she was going into labor, even though they took 12 hours to get to the hospital when she started uh, getting those contractions. Your body cannot tell you if you're standing up or sitting down. Or, or, often or pass out. And those people pass out multiple times per day. Multiple times. And Ellers Daniels, ED, you zebras, or zebras as we even call them. UK. There's many different kinds of EDS. They have like stretchy skin, yeah, but there's, joints. There's like 13 or different. We'll yeah. look at the exact amount of different kinds of they have, and they can overstretch their. I think we and can. And those people really can't work out. I mean, they can a little bit, but they certainly can't lift weights. <laughs> well, no, they. And you guys see like contortionists. Those people would probably be. They probably have ED. ED or some kind of connective mixed con bleh, I can't talk mixed connective tissue disorder. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. No, that was good. You got there. Don't shame anyone for being different than you. Celebrate the differences between people. Yeah, it's not just a race thing. It's not just a gender thing. It's not just a, you know, my hair is colored and your hair is a normal color and that's why we bring up the race why are they always talking about the if if you think life is so hard with colored hair you don't have to have colored hair you know i don't know why you're like if you have such an issue with other people having an issue which i don't think they do i don't think anyone cares about your hair um you have the power to not have it look like that racing a lot because we don't have privilege she and i don't we you're white. What are you talking about? People assume that we can do more than we can, and when we can't, they get upset. They get angry with us and frustrated, and they make assumptions about us that are completely grossly incorrect, and it's very frustrating. You know, and there are many actors and actresses out there, like, what's her name from um, Victorious? Um, what's her name? Liz Gillies. Liz Gillies. If you guys watch Victorious, and we'll do a whole video on Victorious, she her food is so strange. Yeah, what's wrong with this person's food? But the reason why is because she's allergic to like 90% of food. Yep. So please. She just eats like chia seeds. When someone noticed, you notice like, you know, her food is different in a movie. Don't say anything. So we if her food is different in a movie, don't say anything. I was even what the fuck I want. What are you talking about? What, like, a movie that I'm supposed to be paying to see? I'm not supposed to say, like, oh, this person's eating a weird food. Um, I don't know. Better just not say anything because Rhea Gallinera told me not to. Before we end this, I'm going to say, if there is someone in your life who has a diagnosis of coronavirus or any sort of new chronic illness, please be there for them. Don't just throw them away. They are going to be different. They may be, their emotions may be all over the place. They may cry easy. We didn't even get the tear from Finn. I thought they were going to like do a voiceover for him or something. Here, he's more what was the point of Finn? We didn't even need him here. Easily. They may forget where. Just wanted to traumatize him. They may not be able to go run a half marathon with you anymore, but they still need love and support. And 
it's like in 13 reasons why when they start supporting each other when they've gone through things and, and we'll do a 13 reasons why video too they they come together and they take time out of their days to love one another yeah, you gotta cover your eyes finn this is a scary part of the video we're talking about um 13 reasons why and sometimes if just cook your significant other or friend or child an extra meal you know come over and help them do the laundry do something a little extra mm -hmm. and it was really just like licking her lips come over and help us do the laundry like clean our litter box dylan we will have sex with you one time when you engage when you propose to us and uh you just uh, do all these things for us we got the spoons we got the spoons don't complain about it just give of yourself if you need help and you want someone to talk to she and i are gonna be right there we got our email addresses below we answer them we don't have significant each other's we just have each other and yeah you guys are each other's significant other right and our child and our animals if you need us we're there pretty much all hours if you need of the someone day and night. at 2 a.m please please message me and say excuse me i need your phone we don't have anybody what buddy who's gonna rip our phones away i don't from need us. your phone number I, give me i'll give you my damn number i really don't care i'm so confused right now what the fuck is happening um we can just text him at two in the morning why would we need to but the you're not even helping me with anything why would i i'm so confused so i'm mad at yours like steve i gave you my phone number to do what why would I want to fucking uh, text Matty R? Why would I want to text these two? So, so strange. Just you don't abuse it. No. If you abuse it, you get in trouble. And I will block the phone number from you. Do not be afraid. Oh, yeah. You remember, you remember, we didn't hear this fucking four times already? Don't be afraid, yes. The hell was that? <laughs> we're very appropriate. We're very nice. Finn pooped on Rhea because he ate gluten. Appropriate. Do not be afraid of what you do not understand. And remember that when you guys are talking about these things, do not laugh at these people ever. No. And understand that everything you're telling people, someone has already been there before you. And also, denial is not a good life strategy. Andrew Cuomo, do not follow the steps of our president and pretend that it's not here. Don't be like, well, I'm chronically sick. I can just carry on with my life like normal. I don't need to do anything different. I don't need to change my diet. I can still go run 20 miles at a time. I still, you know, I can sleep five hours a night and be totally cool still. <laughs> don't ever watch. You were, you were sleeping on me. She fell asleep right now. You know, and this we, is just who we are. We're we're funny. We have good senses of humor because the alternative is to just be upset all the time, and we we can't live like that. Is that the alternative? To just be upset all the time. And you know, if you lose, if somebody can't love you when you're sick, you sure as hell don't want them in your life. No, nope, well. because guess what? We all end up sick eventually if we live long enough. You need. We're going to say this again. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. We all end up sick if we live long enough. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful quote. You love gluten, Megan? I love you. You know, I can't. I can't. Gluten will kill me. If you need someone to talk to, please reach, reach out, out to us. us. Please. And will, will one of you guys reach out to them? I mean, they really want somebody to reach out to them. They're, like, trying to, like, give their phone number to, like, strangers on the internet. It's fucking so weird. And we follow us on Twitter. We have, each of us have our own Twitter, but there's also a collective Twitter that belongs to both of us. Yes. Go over to Instagram and send us a message and be like, hey, I'm not feeling so hot. And when there is no um, pandemic, we can potentially, you know, fly around and meet you guys. <laughs> if you're not right. great and dangerous. Aww. Yeah. So what do you mean they'll fly around fly around to meet you? Fly around to fucking meet you. I don't know. 
That's crazy that they were actually saying stuff like this. I don't think they would say anything like this nowadays. Like I said, with all the attention they've gotten. <laughs> yeah, here's my phone number. We're gonna, we'll fly out to meet you. What? Did you learn why today, buddy? I'm going to go on a Spoonie tour. Are you ready to join the Spoonie community? And have an awesome life? Full of great food? You are! You are! <laughs> Yay! And the other thing I will say too is our makeup, we still do it ourselves. Yes. And we are very I you know, I it got so good that I thought you got a professional in here to start doing it. But damn, uh they did this themselves, guys. In case you didn't know, they still do it themselves. They'll always do it themselves. I mean, I don't even see that much makeup. It actually doesn't look that bad. <laughs> this one, we've seen some pretty bad makeup child makeup um get ups i don't know what you call it very very careful about making sure that it is gluten free and hypoallergenic and scent free that's our thing do not wear perfume around either one of us You'll kill i'll you. run screaming the other direction don't be afraid the worst is when somebody blows an e-sync in your face and it's very flavored and you're like <laughs> no. don't kill don't kill people we like being in the i love my life and do not ever pity anyone going through this. Ever. You guys, you don't understand. You are capable of great things. Ah, I I thought they were gonna say something ominous, like you don't understand. This is real life, and it's gonna kill you. But they're like, you can do great things. Hell yeah, inspirational. And the best is yet to come. And we will be making a part two to this. And you would like to team up with us, send us an email. Yep. If you like our videos, make sure. Oh, they'll be like, what, what, what was that cut for? Um, all right. So they're just going to do their outro. We'll watch some of the. Did we watch both of these? We'll see this. So this is the other one. Here, we'll watch just this, the angry, bloody part of this one. Just so you guys can remember. We must have done this like on the New Year's stream or one of the, one of the streams. But I remember, I remember as soon as I played the first bit, I was like, "Oh no, oh no, we've seen this already." But she, uh, they get angry. They get fucking angry. I'm. Did I lose the thing? Well, I lost it completely. What the fuck? What the fuck? All right, never mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is this is the other one. Let's see if we've seen this. I don't know if we've seen this. We should encourage people to talk about their health problems, their mental health problems. And when you force people to keep a bottle up, bad things happen. Bad things happen. Like what? Teen months apart or less. Okay, guys. So we have a video for you. It's sort of a follow-up video, sort of a stand on its own video. I'm sure all of you guys saw the truth about illness fakers and Amy Lee Fisher and Pierce somewhere. You guys all know that Amy died very tragically, a very sad death um, in April. See, this is bad makeup. I bet they still do the makeup themselves, though. Of 2021, she wasn't very old. No. But we want to talk more about this situation with these Reddit communities. Reddit, I have a bone to pick with you. So, you guys all watched our video on illness fakers, I hope. However, it doesn't end at illness fakers. It only starts there. There are other subreddits that are similar to it. And today, we're going to be talking about Munch Snark. Oh yes, Munch Snark. Don't think that we forgot about you. Because we have not. Mm -mm. What's Munch Snark? So with that... Well, let's take a look at Munch Snark. So, you guys, Munch Snark is another one of those diagnosis subreddits where people are like, well, I'm going to question that. You do a makeup tutorial? I'll do like a, a Dylan wrestling impression. <laughs> you know, such and such has such and such a diagnosis. Guys, that's not okay. You're scaring people away from getting a diagnosis. In our last video about illness fakers, we cannot tell you how many comments we got. People said, well, I stopped looking because, you know, I 
was wrong about everything. And it breaks my heart to hear that there are people out there suffering with chronic issues day to day that could eventually turn deadly if they are not treated or extremely. She makes such weird faces. You guys gotta watch Rhea. She makes the strangest faces, but like, oh, it's, it's crazy. You'd swear she's on drugs or some shit. You disable someone to the point of having zero quality of life. Or just having like an existential crisis. What are the other? Like they don't get a diagnosis and get that help that they need. And then when things like illness fakers are discouraging people from going out and getting that diagnosis, shame on you. And as a mother of an autistic child who had a lot of trouble getting that diagnosis because... You know, we, we, what are you talking about? Like, I I don't want to sound mean or anything, but I, I'm pretty... I only any doctor would be like, Emma is not autistic. I'll put it that way. Um, She can't speak. Like, I don't know what the... How is it a hard diagnosis to get? I get Repsion having a hard time getting diagnosed as autistic because he's like... I, uh, you know, I'm just having a hard time in life. And uh, I think I'm autistic. They're like, you're like in your 30s, bro. Um, you should just keep doing whatever you're doing. And he's like, no, I need to know. So he spent like a fucking thousands of dollars. Um, but how did, why? Like, I don't understand. We go into that in different video. There are reasons, but we did get it. And after we got the diagnosis, life was so much easier. It was one of the best things that ever happened to us. And, you know, what I went through, yeah, you get my diagnosis. How many people need to suffer through, you know, nearly going into septic shock because their endo was so bad? Is that fair? No. No. Which is what makes these things so incredibly dangerous. So, hmm, Munchnark is along the same lines as illness fakers, but I would argue that that Reddit that subreddit is even more cruel than illness fakers. Did you know they still bring up Chronically Jackie despite the fact she's been dead for God knows how long? Well, this is, is going to have a fucking aneurysm. But um, I still don't know what's a munch snark. Munch, uh, we're going to just have to look it up. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's so crazy. Why? Why would you do that? Why? They call out a cf -er? Like, what? <laughs> Guys. CF is nothing to screw around with. It, Stardust agrees with us. So there are a handful of people in illness fakers that are just absolutely disgusting. They're cruel. They're awful. And they pick on people. And they call people out for the dumbest things. Like we said in our previous video, they don't get their facts straight. However, there are quite a few people on illness fakers who discourage the taunting and the abuse and they say nice things about the people that they're talking Oh, Munch is, uh, is for Munchausen syndrome. So that's what it is. It's like snarking on uh, people. Who, yeah, so because Munch, okay, well, let me just look at Munchausen syndrome so I don't get it, don't get it wrong here. Uh, copy. Okay. I'll throw that away too. We don't need that anymore. Um, so Munchausen syndrome, also known as factitious disorder, is a rare type of mental disorder in which a person fakes illness. Um, the person may lie about symptoms, make themselves appear sick, or make themselves purposely unwell. So yeah, I'd say they'd probably... I, I can see why they're mad at the subreddit. I get it now. I get it now. This will be a good one. Talking about... Like, there are a lot of people in the Amy Lee Fisher thread that were sad that she was gone and said that she didn't deserve what she went through on the board. And Munchnark is different. Munchmark, Munchmark, Munchnark is way more brutal. They're mean over there. Their rules are a little looser. And Los Speakers has some pretty strict rules, but Munchnark, I mean, it's like, Anything is game. They're mean. So they're... I mean, anything is game. They're mean. I mean, like, if you're faking illnesses and, like, they can prove it. I, 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 what do you mean? Why do they mean? Uh, yeah, elaborate. What happened? What happened, girls? What happened on the March Snark subreddit? Uh, they're about 
part on their Reddit, said, their subreddit says, a space to discuss the things posted by over-the-top and or problematic, chronically ill internet social media personalities, a.k.a. munchies, because, you know, munch has them by internet. This sub is meant for entertainment. Entertainment? Yeah, entertainment. Whoa, she's making faces like I make with the lips. Oh, yeah, entertainment. We're going to talk about what we think about this in just Please read the that's why we got to say it. We got to say that it's all for it's all satire. It's for um, educational purposes. It's just entertainment or no, not educational purposes. I prefer uh, Penasaurus knows it. Rules and wiki before posting as a subreddit has strict no bullying, no doxing, no contact rules in place to keep subjects and Redditors safe. We're mm. not affiliated with other subreddits, you know, AKA illness fakers. Those are good rules. And Man, it's just they have pictures on here mocking people. Uh, a new new video, or is it just like uh, the Ruby Frank trial? Did they actually post like a video of their their goofy faces? Because that that'll be a treat. That'll be a treat. There. Oh man, it's just I don't want to read off from it to give it oxygen, but. It's just, you don't need to list everything that could go really wrong. Why? This is education. And they, at one point, so one of the girls said that she was having just having a potsy day. And they're like, see, just having a potsy day. Can't the gala set tour. Oh, whoa, whoa. that's my excited voice. All right, let's, uh, I'll get it pulled up. We'll watch it. We should say we'll that. describe what Patsy is down below. If you're having a Patsy day, then just don't, just keep it to yourself. No, because A, you should, we should encourage people to talk about their problems, their mental problems, and when you force people to keep a bottle up, bad things happen. And, and, then, and then you get a bunch of the Don Lemon situation between Chris, and I will never forgive Don no. for that. He's never leaving this channel. Nope, not ever. ever. That story is a part of this channel now. You don't like it, might want to go. I wouldn't be surprised if he was on both of these boards other nope. and by the way that he acts. Nope. I really wouldn't be. What did Don Lemon do to Chris Cuomo? That was so evil. We're not saying it. We're just saying. I'm just speculating. Just alleging that postulating. Just thinking. It's fine. Oh, well. oh God. We got to talk about something else. This month is also EDS Awareness Month. EDS right. is a connective tissue disorder. And our, our friend Izzy from New York, I think, said it best today. We, Izzy is a young woman um, who has EDS. She's probably one of the top YouTubers now that Amy's not around. Such a smart, smart young lady, though. I mean, and she uh, has... She's, She's going to school to be a genetic counselor. And she, part of her thing on her YouTube channel is to help people who are suffering with EDS and his sister illnesses figure out how to get that diagnosis if they have it. Because often doctors miss these things. Okay. So she, we're going to quote her. This is her, not us. And she has what is Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And she has a definition on here. The EDS syndrome or the Ehlers Danlos syndromes are a group of more than 13. 13. All right. I got it. I got it. I, here we go. This is the new video. Uh, the Gala Set Tour. We got a new cat. We got no service dogs, but we got a new cat. I think I haven't seen this one before, unless it's just a different angle of a cat. Who knows? Um, so I'm excited haven't seen this don't know anything don't know what we're in for we got a blanket hey gala newsies so we have a set tour today sponsored by timu here's it is this spot is it actually sponsored by timu or are you doing like that heather james soroka shit where you're just pretending to be sponsored by i don't think timu would sponsor them ashes playing with the set tour this green tapestry was bought off from Amazon, not from Timu. But first, we're going to start with these clips up here, these metal curtain clips that our mother actually 
turned us on to when we were. What do you mean, our mother? You guys got out. You're outed. You're not sisters. Why are you? Why are you making videos pretending to be sisters? So that's wacky. Even fucking Sen was like, "Nah, that should happen." You guys are still out here being like we're sisters. That's fucking insane. For children. So you just undo the clip and you put them like that, and you know you can use these for curtains or whatever. And they're super convenient, really easy. Get it off our competitor, Amazon. This is sponsored by Timu. Doesn't take much hassle. They're coming 14 pieces on Timu for $5.49. What is this music in the background? <laughs> American dollars. They advertise as curtain loops, curtain hooks, rings. They're... These ones are the bronze ones. We like the bronze color, but you can get whatever color you want. It really doesn't matter. It's nice. They move around on there. You can adjust them. Then we have... It doesn't even sound like Rachel. Like, she's she's has, like, some weird, almost, like, call center voice kind of thing going on. Like, And then we have, like, another thing. I, I, it's weird. Is that Rachel's voice? I'm questioning it. The two pieces of the stylish and durable black aluminum, aluminum curtain rod holder. So that curtain rod sticks in there. The curtain rod was bought separately from the holders. And I mean, I think it is, but it's just, he's talking weird. And then it adjusts. You can see I just pointed in the middle right there. And it's nice. It's not heavy duty but it's not lightweight either it works it'll hold up your curtain for sure i mean i yeah i think this is a blanket with a shower like this is a shower rod and then they got a fucking blanket like a fucking cover just on there i'm happy with it we all are super happy with it and we're using this right now for Zoom calls, all three of us got new jobs. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to tell you where we're working, but all three of us are working for jobs that pay money. Okay, and you guys all use this weird green background as... What kind of jobs would you need to be on video for with a fucking green screen background? Um, but yeah, this thing right here is a LED tree branch light. And sometimes we turn that on when we're in meetings. You can turn off the lights and it kind of glows. It's really cool. Timu has really cool lighting on their ambiance for your room. And shit like that. It is so cool. And there's different... Where are they working? We're like... I mean, I guess like in meetings. The meetings are meetings. I don't know. We don't need to know where they're working. I'm just like, I'm curious. Um, things that you can push on here. So the blink and stuff like that gonna go and we also got this ring light you need a ring light this is a 10 inch selfie ring light with tripod stand and mobile holder and king is looking at it he's very interested in it i'm not showing you in, in use because we'll be moving to mars pretty soon here thanks for watching That was in a studio. We literally just looked at a fucking towel, not towel, a cover on the wall. The what? That was the whole video. Just the cover on the wall. Sponsored by Timu. Buy this shit off Amazon. What? We got jobs. <laughs> I don't even know. That was weird. I guess that's better than just the Ruby Frank. What? I don't know. They got to go back to the, making their, their normal videos. Look at this. Look. They, I hope they're watching right now. Look. Go back to your roots, girls. Look what you'd be doing right now. Genetic connective tissue disorders that make connective tissue abnormally weak. Sounds so much different then. <laughs> Fragile and stretchy. Connective tissue is found in all parts of the body, including your organs, ligaments, lig ligaments, and joints. As a result, people with EDS can be affected in all of these areas as well as others. Most common symptoms and comorbidities include chronic joint pain, check, dysautonomia, dislocations, GI tract, dysmotility, 
and severe joint instability, among many others. The most common type and the type that I have, that she, she has, is hypermobile EDS, formerly known as type 3, which is estimated to affect around 1 in every 5,000 people. That's a lot of people. Um, however... Right, Ginger? I wanted to do it too. No, nah, but I appreciate you. Appreciate you letting me know because I didn't know. I didn't know they uploaded that. If they deleted it, we wouldn't have it. And now we can look back. Remember that time they showed us a fucking shower curtain rod with? I swear to God, that was like a blanket on the on the ceiling. Not the ceiling, the wall. There's no um window there. They're just like putting stuff up on the wall. Maybe the TV is behind it. Actually, maybe they're upgrading from the towel on the TV to this fucking thing. It is speculated by many not to be as rare as we once believed. So, guys, the reason why a lot of people have trouble believing that they have EDS, more on that in a minute, is because she also claims this. It can be extremely difficult to find a knowledgeable doctor who can eat, who can diagnose EDS. In the meantime, many people are left in limbo while searching for a doctor who holds the answer. Many people have questions about EDS, its inheritance, and its disease progression. Izzy hopes this video can help you with these questions, and we'll link this video down below. And make sure that you guys all do her the honor of going and watching her YouTube videos and subscribing to her channel. She's probably, like I said, going to probably take over the number one EDS slot. Mm -hmm. the, the, the EDS slot, huh? The, it, there's fucking chronic illness slots on YouTube now? Is that what we're doing here? Holy shit, bro. What? How? This is so interesting how they, like, view this shit, you know? A normal person with a chronic illness wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, the fuck are you, the EDS slot. The EDS slot. I'm trying to compare it to something that, like... I don't even know, man. That's just as weird. There's something else that you guys deserve to know. Why did we bring up EDS? We think we may have it. And shut up, illness fakers and munch snark. Zip it. Why? Why do you guys think you have it? And you guys were talking about, there's other reasons why. Well, number one, we also have endometriosis. Yeah. And that's part of the zebra um, illnesses that may, that may be connected it is believed that endometriosis is a form of uh, mast cell, which we both have. And we both have very severe GI tract issues. We talked about that in our celiac videos. Mm -hmm. But we can do some things that the average person cannot do. We can do this. That's not impressive. Can everybody do that? You just like, you're just letting your like what wrist hang limp that's not impressive that's not normal for you that's that uh guys can you not do that can you not just have your arm like that that's not normal that's not normal to move your what the fuck are they talking about what are they talking about here's we thought that, that was normal. normal we can do <laughs> you cracked do this should we be able to do that no no, we're super, super, super bendy. I don't know. Is that, is that, why is that a fucking, why, I don't understand. This isn't, you do these kind of stretches in gym class. Everyone can do what they're doing. We can do this. And, and try along with us and see if you can do it. This is weird. We can do the other side. Mm -hmm. We have chronic joint pain. We are always in pain that's i don't think that um doing those things qualifies as having like a chronic illness or as i have a chronic illness i think anyone can do that guys if you can if you can <laughs> you can go like this you got a chronic illness now all right not everybody can do this all right this isn't normal not fucking normal you're not claiming we have this we're saying we are considering it we are in the process of trying to figure out if, if we do what is going on we don't know for sure if we do we're not saying we do we're just saying that we're going to talk to our doctor about it yeah and izzy mentioned in that same video that geneticists 
pain doctors, rheumatologists, some of these people might know what EDS is. Mm -hmm. But EDS is actually quite rare because there is a quote that says, when you're here, hoof beats think horses, not zebras. Yep. And that's why EDS's ribbon color is the zebra. We bruise very easily. Oh, God, yes. Don't. Well, especially you don't heal very quickly. No. Like, I get hurt, I get cut, and I have the cut for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, like reverse Wolverine. There's a lot of things that, like, it can't be done. I, I have trouble crawling on the floor because my joints act so weird. Why are you crawling on the floor? Just chilling with the cats? Just, I don't, I've never seen, never like come across a time life when I need to crawl on the floor. The butterfly. Did that do anything for you? I didn't even was supposed to do the anything. butterfly pose in yoga. Nah. Also, when we crawl on pose, doesn't do much. I don't understand what's supposed to hurt. I'm confused by that. And we would have been in the class and people are like, eh, and we're like, and eh, what? We can also, when we do quad stretch, we can also bring our foot right next to us. Yep. Everyone said that that was going to break our legs and no, it won't. Mm -mm. But also, we I can, I can flip into an inversion like that. Pots. Another big one. Pot. Ugh, I can never say this. This is just like the other one. They're just listing out every fucking mental illness and then they're like giving each other the like oh i want to fuck you eyes yeah we have so many uh we have so many illnesses aren't you just getting hot um aren't you just getting wet with all the mental not men yeah some of them are mental i guess all of these fucking chronic illnesses ryan thank you for the ten dollar soup chat um good night happy campers you gotta dip much love I hope you have a great night, Ryan. Um, I will see you around tomorrow. It's Thursday tonight. Yeah, so tomorrow's Heather. I haven't been keeping up with Heather. I should check out, see what she's doing. I'll probably make some shorts tomorrow, I guess, before the stream. Got to work tomorrow. I'm not doing anything after this stream, though. Uh, nothing otherwise. Um, but yeah, have a great night, Ryan. And I feel like there was a, yeah, that, these, the, these guys. They're just getting all uh, hot and bothered over their fake illnesses. I Postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Yes. So you guys know that when people have POTS, um, they can't stand up. When they stand up and go back down, their blood pressure and heart rate cannot catch up. They have a lot of vertigo. Mm. Well, she and I suffer with a lot of vertigo. So, and I... Frequently, if I take too hot of a bath, when I stand up out of the bath, I go, Bleep! I pass out like that. Boom. I've caught many times. <laughs> I'm like, you couldn't catch Rachel. Come on now. You're a very frail woman, Rhea. I just, I don't believe it. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, so I have to take cooler baths. <laughs> we said before, we both have masks up. Um, GI tract disorders. Well, we have celiac disease. But as you guys will learn in August, we're very concerned about another thing we might have too that comes along with it called gastroparesis, which basically means everyone has it, it, it's and the fisting with the fucking carpal carpal tunnel braces on. It's like <laughs> gives it that. I was gonna say ribbed, but I guess not ribbed. It's like fucking um that fabric, not Velcro. And wouldn't that wouldn't be good? It's pretty like likely we have it. Like there's like like a 5% chance that we don't. Mm -hmm. And we'll get to why in a minute and we'll put a trigger warning on it and everything else. Basically, you have a vagus nerve inside your stomach and that's what causes your GI tract to work. Well, people who have gastroparesis have partially dead GI tracts. Now, a couple of years ago, this is kind of gross. We're a grippy. Yes, thank you. That would be, yeah, grippy. It'd be very grippy. Trigger warning on this. It was late at night. And I wasn't feeling well at all. This is uh, yeah, that's a trigger warning. Trigger warning, guys. What do you think this is going to be? I bet you we don't need a trigger. Back when I still lived alone mm -hmm. at my previous apartment. So anyways, it was late at night and I was alone. And I got really, really, really sick. And I have no idea why. To this day, we don't know why. And I hadn't had anything to eat in quite some time because I didn't feel good. You guys, we still eat, I swear. I, I, I just thought you didn't eat. I thought you were like King Jong-un or ill or whoever the guy is who says he doesn't eat or shit and he could drive a car at like two, three years old or whatever. 
but my stomach was a little off and I thought, okay, something's not right. So I got up and I proceeded to throw up what I ate for breakfast more than 24 hours before then. So my GI tract seems a little slow. Yeah. It's interesting too, because like they're not sisters. They're still pretending to be sisters, which is really wacky. <laughs> that, that's what our mother, you guys don't have a mother. Um, you, you, uh, you guys have mothers, but like you don't share a mother. So you, it doesn't even make sense for them to be like, Oh, well it's genetic. It runs in the family. Like what? It runs in both your families. All of these fucking illnesses. They're, it's Munchausen syndrome. It's, it, that's the only syndrome they get. Oh, it looks like a little bit. Yeah. Also, there are days when eating is just not something I want to do. No. They get um the boxy charm boxes. I think once a month, it's just like packed full of random ass makeup that doesn't match their complexion. Uh, and then I guess they just try to use it all within a, uh, I guess before next month. That's my guess. That's why there's so much and it's never really complimentary to their, their skin. Now, we are not saying we have eating disorders. No. Please do not do not take this as You can see on this on this channel that we love to eat and we eat a lot of different foods. North but Man, yeah. there's a, the odds are not, but there's other reasons why we think we have it too. We've talked to doctors about it and they're like, yeah, you seem like you probably have it. We just haven't progressed further than that. But we also have something, again, trigger warning. Ours, ours is usually in the form of something called dumping syndrome, which is actually the rare of the two kinds. Is this a donkey syndrome? Go ahead. And you can just figure that out from what it sounds like. Donkey syndrome? Hey, Siri, what's donkey syndrome? And the bathroom is a challenge because intestinal intest I wow. can't talk int nope. Intestinal dysmotility is a serious, 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 serious problem in a lot of these girls. Yeah. They're mostly women. But you know, is it is it uncommon for someone to have endometriosis with these? No, Lena Dunham has them both. And I had a I worked with a male oh. coworker who had EDS. Dumping syndrome? Like they just take a lot of dumps. Is that what it is? But like we're gonna show some of the stuff we can do too in a few minutes. Male cover that had EDS and you know what it was. Guys, I can't do that as much. I can't on my this isn't normal. I can't really do that on my this isn't normal. It's moving your skin around isn't normal. Come on, man. Seriously? Seriously? This fucking oh, this isn't normal moving my skin. It's not normal, guys. I can on my hand though. Yeah. So uh, when as that we feels really good. As we go through this journey, the EDS journey together, and the castopresis pots. Oh, I spelled and whatever sunstone. else we need to find we have. I spelled dumping sunstone instead of syndrome, and I was like, what the fuck is all this? Yeah, I don't even know what a sunstone is. All right, a group of symptoms such as diarrhea, nausea. And feeling lightheaded. So it's like, uh, just get some Pepto Bismol. You'll be all right. We'll take you guys with us to as much of this as we can. Mm -hmm. Because this is something that we do need to write about. And we will be reading our actual diagnoses. So come for us, Munch Snark. So come for us, Illness Fakers. We'll just cease and desist you. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you guys are an entertainment place that you can't talk to people, that's disgusting. Oh, God. Reddit. Why do you allow these on your social media? Oh, disgusting. I mean, think about oh, the one that Hulk Hogan um, what took out was the one called Gawker. What? Hulk Hogan took out? What did he take out? And that was essentially what they are doing. So be careful, Reddit. You don't want to be the next Gawker, do you? Hulk Hogan took out Gawker? I vaguely remember Gawker. I don't know what Gawker was. Do you? I think you do. Ow. What the hell are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You guys are hurting each other now? Mama mia. You don't want to be the next New York Compost, do you? Do you? Or the next New York Times, do you? Or the next Wall Street Journal, do you? Or the next Fox News, do you? It says Gawker's still around, right? No? 
a was a flagship blog for Denton's Gawker Media. Gawker Media was also managed other blogs, such as Kotaku. All right, so it's not. It launched. And it relaunched. Okay, it relaunched two years ago, but it shut down. Why is it such a confusing thing? It's like launched 2002, 22 years ago, and then it relaunched in 2021, and now it's shut down. So I guess, uh, I don't know what it is. Hulk Hogan sex tape. Oh, so in 2012, 20, in 2012, what the? <laughs> um, there's a Hulk Hogan sex tape leaked to the site. So he got mad and there was a lawsuit, I guess. But uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if it's like a farm site or I don't know. Because it sounds like that's what you want. Hmm, I think so. We don't make fun of what they can do. No, do that. that's wrong. And we don't discourage from people talking about what they're going through. Do you want, I mean, the whole situation that happens is happening in New York right now. Mm -hmm. And not just with Andrew, but with Chris too. We have a mental health epidemic in this country. In this, in the world, but especially in America right now. The last thing we need to do is be like, well, just continue suffering and in silence, and we don't want to hear about it. We only want sunshine and roses because we all believe in Trump. Oh, Trump. I mean, that's exactly what we went through with COVID is that, you know, Trump and Trumpers said that you should stay home if you are immune because you some compromise. And the rest of us normies, we can go about our daily business because we don't care about you. You stay sequestered, and we won't do that because. I mean, I don't think these guys leave the house much anyways. You think they want to just have any excuse possible not to get a normal job at the pizza shop or the fucking quiz bowl or whatever those they worked at before this glamorous lifestyle they're living? Hey, we are all we we are all one people. This is very wrong, and what's happening is not okay. And at some point, I am going to, along with her, be contacting a lawyer, and we're going to try to get rid of your nasty friends. Mm-hmm. We're coming. That's not going to happen. That's not going to work. Coming for you. And if there are more of you, you will be exposed on this channel. Mm -hmm. You will be. Oh, yes. There's no ifs. There's no ands. There's no buts. You will be exposed on this channel. And we, some of Damn. You did find our other uh, YouTube video. And your comments were removed because we are not going to engage with you. We are not going to fight with you. We're, we're just going to put these statements out there. And then that's what we do. And guess what? It's our channel, so we get to censor it however we want. And this is a okay. I don't think anyone really get. I don't think it's that deep, guys. Come on now, come on. Safe channel for Cuomo fans as well. Just wanted to bring that up. Mm -hmm. All Cuomo fans of all Cuomos. Yeah, we don't feed the garbage. We do not give oxygen to the garbage. That's part of my sign off. Is it? I don't, we never watch your sign offs. You don't give oxygen to the garbage, I guess. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why I say it. Because mm -hmm. lies only hurt. I mean, how would you like to be these people's family when they're dying and they're, they're after they're dead and you pick up their stuff and it says, this person was on Munch Snark or this person was on blah, blah, blah. Does that, does that advance? The well, they shouldn't have been over the top then. Okay, well, then you must not like gay people. Nope. You must not like Billy Porter walking around with HIV and wearing dresses. Nope. And not just like regular dresses, like the biggest, weirdest. <laughs> what is this? Why are we looking at this guy? The biggest dresses ever. Okay. I don't know why we're pointing him out. Downs ever. You must not like Lady Gaga and how much she supports the gay community and she walks around with a meat dress. You must not like drag queens. Nope. You, I mean... What you're doing is discrimination. It should be. It actually it is technically illegal. We are going to see if we can do a bunch of things. It's ableism. It's sexism. It's every ism out there. I mean, you guys might as well be saying, well, um, my white daughter went out with the black dude at this point. What's wrong with that? Well, no, I'm just saying they might as well be saying the exact same thing. What do you mean? Like, they may as well be saying, well, whites can't marry blacks and blacks yeah. can't marry whites. <laughs> like, how they didn't even know what each other was saying there for a second. Asians, that, that, that's weird. It's the same thing. Exactly. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. I don't get the difference. I don't see the difference. Do you? No. 
Oh well, my. They're supposed to be talking about like Munch Snark subreddit and how uh, they don't have Munchausen syndrome. And they, yeah, they went off about nursing homes and now uh, how they run the channel and they're going to expose people. And I don't know. They were, we're way off in the re- weeds. Whoa. But and if you look on our blog post about Amy Lee Fisher, we talked about Dr. Phil who said that. If you are disabled in any way, then you can't be in a successful relationship. That that's not possible. Now, wait, that's not really something that we're interested in. But, I mean, that's ridiculous to say. How awful. Well, you know, illness is already isolating enough, but you're too much work. You don't deserve to be in a relationship. There's nothing you could add to it. Excuse me? I mean, (gasps) what? (laughs) I mean, why don't we, like, fine. You guys want to talk about this? Why don't we look at somebody like... They're getting worked up and all over the damn place. Chris Cuomo, who is a dad and has three children. And he's a great dad. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't come without issues. But his kids love him anyways. Yeah. Would you make fun of someone like, I mean, you guys do. And you need to stop. You, you need to stop me in front of Chris Cuomo. Okay. All right. I gotta go to bed, guys. Um, so that is, they're, they're crazy. And uh, they don't like the munch. The Munch Snark um, subreddit. Tomorrow we're gonna go over Heather, um, and uh, we'll, we'll do something fun on the weekend. We'll do something fun on the weekend because I was away for most of this week, but I'm back, guys. I'm back in black. Um, hopefully it won't be fucking winter anymore. Hopefully, uh, but I hope you guys have a great night. And I will see you all tomorrow if you want to see Heather. Uh, If not, then I'll see you next time. Uh, Take care, guys. Good night.